welcome to Weekend Project. Happy to see everybody here today. Thank you very much for joining us. We are working on the Get to Know My Neighbor, which is the every other week project that we've been working on since the beginning of the year of 2022. And it's just given me an opportunity to really pay attention to my new neighborhood and really get to know it and absorb some of the unique features of it and some of the special events that go on. So shortly after Hurricane Fiona came through here, it was about maybe a week and a half to two weeks, I was out driving doing some errands and I saw in a field full of kites. People were flying kites and it was so cool and awesome. I wish I kind of known about it because I am I love kites and I'm an avid collector of kites myself. So this is my block to represent that beautiful day after such the hurricane that came through. So and this is I just I just love it it was so beautiful with colors and the tails and all flying through the sky the beautiful sunny day with just a little bit of a breeze it was stunning so this is my block to represent that and we're going to put that together today okay so we're just going to put that there and again like I'm making two one for possibly one for possibly you and one for me it was a one possibly for me of course it's going to be for me <laughs> I'm making it <laughs> but you could win too so I've got some uh, st straight, really thin cuts. This is all a heat and bond project uh, of black that's going to represent the twine or the line for the kite. And I have some little, um, I guess like a flag a bit part cut. It looks like a pair of funky pants, you know. And that's going to be on <coughs> the tail to one of the kites. And then I've got some uh, triangles that are kind of come together, look like a bit of a bow tie. <clears throat> for the other one. Sorry, I just, no, I just have a tickle. All right, so to lay this out, I have some, obviously some trees that represent some of the fall colors going on here. And I just want to make sure that <clears throat> gets in the background first before being able to put that um, twine across. I also have to press my um, cutouts that I have for to represent my kite. Okay, and I just want to make sure I'm doing that here. I'll make it similar to the first one. And to just use heat and bond, you put the uh, textured side down to the back of your fabric and then just press for a few moments. It is so tempting to rub back but and forth, but you just need to press it and then that, give it a moment to cool. And in this one here, I just want to make sure I'm placing it in a pleasing manner that I like where the stripes are coming from on the fabric and how I want it to represent uh, on my kite. Okay, so let's go, let's do it different. Just a little bit of same colors, but just different. Okay, so let's do it there. Okay, and then I took took a little bit of the black that I was using as for the twine uh, or um, string for the kite. I used it as a definition on the block itself here. Okay, you can see that there to help that help kind of define the density of the um, the kite. Okay, so I'm just going to trim that out. Okay. Do that to both of them. Hope you all have had a fantastic week. It's been very pretty here and definitely with the changing of the season. Okay, there we go. There is our two beautiful kites. We're going to put this in our big collection bag. We've been collecting the whole time and keeping our bits and bobs in that little section there. All right, so let's get our kites peeled. Which way do we want to have it going? Is it this way? There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. So we're going to kind of put that about there. Let's put our other little trees. I did peel most of the paper off of these um, already. Okay. So those two kind of go there. Let's just move that on top of there for now. Let's get one of our clouds up here. Another cloud over there. We have one of our birds up in here. Oops, 
and spin it around. And then one down here. But let's wait till we put the little stripe down first. We've got to peel it off. I wasn't sure how finicky that was going to be. But it seems to be okay. I want to make sure it's coming right up underneath the kite. It looks like it's coming out right in the center. And then we're going to use those little um, flags to just stack down the line. Okay. Oh, so we have one more little orange one. Okay. So what we'll do is we will set this set right here. Okay. And then that right there before we move on to the others. Okay. So let's just give that some heat. Doesn't have to be completely, but if we just kind of set it where we want it. Okay. All right. Oops, oops, oops. Ah, no, not there. Don't stick. Okay. <laughs> oops. Oh no. No, up, up. Okay. All right. We're good. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. That's all right. Okay. Next, we're going to take our triangle. We had it so it's kind of this way ish. Okay. Put that up there. And then we have another little strip here. Let's trim this out because this ends up being what we have to highlight these little sections here of the flag, or the, sorry, the kite, not the flag. Okay, so we'll go there, do a little trim, pop it over here. Do a little trim, and then we'll find out, find another piece to do that little section right there after this. And be careful when you're peeling the paper away, especially like little bits like this. It's going to be very fragile. Okay, tuck it under. Make sure it goes over the tree. Okay. And then we've got this tree here. Come up there. We've got to go up just adapt a little bit. Okay. Now we had the orange. Hopefully they haven't melted off all the glue. There. Oops. Can be a little fiddly, but don't be afraid to take it on. deep breath. Okay, there. Now let's get the yellow to place. Of course, the smaller ones at the top and the bigger ones towards the bottom. Uh, that way it looks like it's closer to you. Or obviously closer to the ground. And one more set here. Here. Just peel the paper. You can score the back of it with uh, a pin as well. Okay. All right. So I think we're okay with that. Let's trim this. Okay. And let's give that a little heat, hopefully to set things and I didn't mess up anything with those orange and yellow. <clears throat> set the cloud, top of the kite, let's set this, the trim there. Okay. Put 
put a little bit right across the purple here from corner to corner and then we have that little tiny piece left over there now this was just as a, a hand sketch I've got inspiration from coloring books online and stuff like that uh, there's a few I literally have just done a little sketch and you can see right there it's nothing, nothing really too fancy just kind of sorted out from my mind out onto a piece of paper so I kind of get a bit of a dimension of what I'm looking for and how many how I'm going to fill out the block that to uh, because I want the most of the block to be filled up right so let's set those pieces there You could probably do another black one across the the top here. Maybe, maybe, maybe we might do that. I haven't decided yet, but and that is our kite block. I hope you've been enjoying the adventure as I've been going along this year, getting to know my neighborhood and enjoying the blocks. And maybe it's encouraging you to look at your neighborhood differently, whether you've been there for forty years or you've been on only there for four years or four months. Just enjoy it, look at it with new eyes, and enjoy the space around you. Thank you very much for joining me today. Join us tomorrow, Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern, where we're going to start a new project here on the Quilt Shop. And hope you can come and join us. Okay, Take care, everybody, and we'll see you soon.